I want to show you how to work with JSON schema inside Visual Studio 2013 update 3 as well as in the upcoming update 4. So if I add a JSON file here to any project, let's just call it foo, we can see that I get the regular uh, JSON editor and I can you know, start typing um, like this. It's basically just a, a like a nice uh, JSON editor, but it doesn't really give me any IntelliSense or validation and stuff like that. But notice here at the top, we have a drop down. And if you use Web Essentials, you're going to see a lot of different schemas, JSON schemas, uh, that are available here in this drop down. Um, and if we select one of them, let's take the project one. This is Project JSON. This is for the next version of ASP.NET, ASP.NET V Next. If I have a schema file associated with, in this case, foo.json, I get full IntelliSense for uh, everything here that's defined by the schema. So we can see here version shows up and even more complex stuff. Notice how I don't have to type the quotation marks. I can simply just start typing and the editor will automatically populate them. They will also automatically populate the value if they can. And uh, we can now easily uh, just fill out the uh, different properties like so. So very, very nice and easy way to uh, enrich the experience of people using JSON. And uh, we even have validation. So let's say, so this, this could either be a true or false, so a Boolean. But let's say I change this to uh, some string value. We can see that I do in fact get validation error right here that says, hey, it has to be a Boolean, but you type string, so you better change it. So that's really nice that we get this extra benefit <coughs> from the JSON editor. Um, but what if you want to create these JSON schema files yourself? Then let's see how we can go about it. So let's create a new uh, file here. Let's just call it schema.json. A JSON schema file is just another JSON file. But the only difference is that it references a very specific schema. And it's the official JSON schema.org draft v4 schema. And um, by implementing that, we automatically get IntelliSense for our schema. So this is IntelliSense for writing a schema. So now I can start defining properties. So let's say that I want a property called foo and I want this to be of type boolean with a description of this is a boolean value for instance. I'm going to save my schema.json file and we can now go back to foo.json and simply drag from Solution Explorer the schema file onto the dropdown. And now it applies. So if we go back here and call for IntelliSense, we can see that our foo property comes up. Very simple like that. Now every time we make a change, we might want to go in, right click and say reload schemas. That reloads uh, the underlying schema and will download, re-download uh, any remote schemas that you have that you might want to update. So there's a really nice mechanism for keeping your uh, files and your schemas up to date. So this is a really easy way to um, get started with JSON schema. Okay, let's see here. Let's do it right like this. And we can do a lot of different things here with all these properties. We can do very advanced things, but that's for another day. The cool thing is that you get all this in Visual Studio and it's very easy to create your own schemas and share them um, for instance, on schemastore.org, so that they will automatically show up in Visual Studio if you have Web Essentials. Thanks for watching.